Good morning guys, it's Gina and today at the end of the video I do have a little bit of a clip of a um, kind of just a check-in for the restart 2019 that we have going on from July to December and so we'll find that at the end of this video. I thought that I would um, kind of go through some of the stuff that I've got for my birthday already. You know that um, Sandy and I both celebrate our birthday month in September. And again, I'm so grateful to all of you who supported Sandy and her birthday and was such lovely, lovely, lovely friends to her. It was such a blessing to see her be so touched. She really, really, really felt your love and your support uh, through everything that happened and the video that was made for her birthday sake. So I'm saying thank you for that. Now I know that I have been quite MIA, feeling pretty good, <laughs> but my knee has given me a run for my money. Like as in I've been in tears more days than not and I don't know why in a couple of days it has ventured into my elbow. So I know it's a muscular thing because I knew I hadn't done anything to um, cause the pain. So, you know, mm, just really going to leave that alone for now. Um, you're going to have to be seeing a lot of little grays here and there because I'm trying to quit using this dark, dark brown on my hair. Um, I'm going to be 54 this month and Cooper's coming in. He's going to lay down. In his little bed back there. He got a little haircut this past week. I think that it's time to at least get the color out of my hair. Maybe go from there. I might not be a completely gray person, but the damage that the dye is doing to my hair over the past 20 years is um, I've had two different stylists now tell me my hair could not support having the dye removed. My hair is too weak, it's too fragile and um, dry and broken. So we are going to not go that route and we're gonna try, does melamine work? Does that, does that work to knock on wood? Because there's particles underneath it. Just, I'm just asking. So I'm knocking on wood that um, I can get through this and don't give up or give in. I am gonna put a wash on it periodically both Stylists have told me that that would be fine. Well, technically one told me, but the other one said, yeah, I need something less harsh. And of course a wash is less harsh. So there's that. There is tons and tons of gray in the genus hair. So sorry about your luck. Uh, a couple of things that I recently bought. Um, I'm trying to think of where that stuff is, but I bought my very, well, my third. It's actually my third. But isn't this one exactly what we're kind of looking for? Um, now, Amy, I might need a little bit of help as to exactly how to go about doing this, but I'm gonna try to make me a uh, journal cover using this vintage and then use up some of my vintage ephemera in it. And I think that this is going to house my ephemera. Currently, currently, I have it in this little thing that I um, had, and I covered it, so it's fine. Um, I just realized right this very second that, no, I didn't, that I thought I put it in upside down. This is the front cover. I know you're probably seeing it backwards. So the, the writing is right, so the, the, Roses are upside down up there, but on the back, it just looks like they're upside down. Anyways, I thought I was going to use this for uh, my ephemera. It is like a third of the way full and already just blooming. So I thought that if I had um, something a little larger where I could space the items out, maybe in two pockets per page or even three, that, um, so like one, two and three um, to bring it up some and flatter might be the better way to go. But I went ahead and took everything out of the cases and put them in so that we at least lost some of the packaging. It's kind of where I'm going with that. Kind of in a, in a slight way, um, 
mimicking Gail and her journals that she has as she's pulling them out every day to use. I don't know if you follow her, but um, she is definitely a true junk journaler. I don't know exactly how much junk journaling I'm going to do. I'm trying. I just don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of old stuff because I'm so new. Share with me, people. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sort of kidding. Just I need ideas. It's really what it is. I don't know um, what to be picking up, where you get the old papers. You know, I have bought a few books here and there, but another thing that I got, and it's already up here, and it's going to house there is my new iPad camera holder. It shakes too bad to be attached to the desk. I'm going to need Honey to get me some kind of a, something that I can hang on the wall and attach it to, or maybe my mirror. I might be able to attach it to my mirror, which is behind you, and um, let it just hang down. I'm not sure, but I got something to house my iPad to film. Um, and then uh, at Tuesday morning, I was so proud of myself. I went with a girlfriend. Now, granted, it was because I was hurting, but I literally picked up this pad, Authentique and uh, Glamour, the Glamour collection. These are the papers that are involved, and this is what I'm going to do with it. Um, I should show you both sides. There's a little, this is all the papers that are in it. They're just repeats. And on the cover here, I used my little three hole punch. It fits perfectly on a six by six pad. See them there? Perfect sizing. And I'm gonna go ahead and use those rings and make a little pad for that for my girlfriend slash cousin slash boss for her birthday. And it's that, which is the Sunday after mine. I bought one more thing at the Tuesday. Oh, I bought my girlfriend a mug, which was really cute. It had an L on it. Her name's Lenny. It was really cute. Uh, for my birthday, Honey has already sent me in several things. A case of each of my favorite shampoos, which is Hask Macadamia Oil. I got a case of these and a case of the shampoo. The shampoo isn't here yet. Um, he had to get them from two different places somewhere in the world. This is... Um, this is, what's the word, not expired, discontinued, dear God, I should lose these, shouldn't I? This is discontinued, and um, so you have to find it sporadically where you can. He found a case of the conditioner someplace and a case of the shampoo a different place. So I got that, not cheap, but oh well. I got this, he, uh, he I threw this into his Amazon uh cart and he got it for me. It's an acrylic mixing medium in pearlescent so you can add it to any of your paints and it will pearlescent them. Um, I'm a pearly girl and well you already know that you know my journal's name is Pearl but um, and then I did pick up this pearl purple color. I was watching someone. It was either Rosemary Mary or the Mary at Adler, Mary Adler, the Mary Adler, I think, or Gail, and I'm not even going to attempt Gail A, because I can't attempt to say her last name yet. Um, they were looking for a specific paint. I found it on Amazon, um, so, and it was a blue color, and they were going to, they bought it at a yard sale. I can remember what they did, I just can't remember who they were. Um, they have it on Amazon, but I didn't have it in his cart, I had it in my, my cart, so we didn't buy it. Uh, Honey bought me two of these sweaters, and um, I'm going to start with the bottom. They have these uh, all the way through pockets in the front, and it's very soft. Um, I don't know that it's telling me the... It's by... Um, sorry, you're going to get the eyeball thing again. Cypress... And it is, it doesn't say what the material is, but very long winter sweaters. Um, 
The sleeves are cool and it's a hoodie. I got a blue one and kind of this really warm, dusty pink. And this little, remember this back in the 80s? Apparently it's back. This kind of a sleeve. So I got two of these, a blue one and a pink one. My husband's boss bought me these placemats by Nicole Miller and sent them home with him. So I've got four of those for my new little table, which you haven't even seen yet, have you? I've started um, filming my Decorate With Me uh, for fall, and literally I did the before photo, and the box is still sitting there. It's been four or five days. I'm not really sure y'all are even interested in things like that. I thought I would decorate that hutch and my dining room. I got that and that. Oh, I picked up this paint at Tuesday morning, a different time. No, I think it was the same time. So, um, it's bronze, copper, gold, and silver. <clears throat> I think it was three something. No, it was seven something. Eight dollars, seven ninety nine. So two dollars a piece. I don't know. That might not have been a great deal, but I got it. I'll try that out. The I'm I'm saving the kicker. I'm just saving the kicker for, uh, you know, the end of the video. I'm doing the whole, you know, hold on, make you wait type scenario. I, I know I did get more, but yesterday, honey, bought me this. <laughs> you know, I was wanting it the last time it was at Tuesday morning. I got it yesterday. If you spent $75 or more, you got $20 off. So that made the $100 typewriter $80. Yeah, it did. So the $200 typewriter on We Are Memory Keepers and Scrapbook.com, I don't know if it's on Scrapbook.com, which, by the way, I'm a new affiliate affiliate with Scrapbook.com, um, but I got it for $80 at the Tuesday morning, and I got the pink one. Are you proud of me? Daily Car Chat coming up next and I will catch you all next time and I'll give you another update um, when it gets a little closer to my birthday it's next Sunday I'm so excited y'all know I love my birthday and I'm excited to um, kind of be doing this with my hair I'm a little nervous I'm a little t I, I can't even say I'm tired of it normally by now I'm like dude get this crap covered I'm just tired of dyeing it how many of y'all have went through that you went through the grow out process. Did you cut your hair all off? Because I could totally see myself doing that. We've already cut it up so much. Anyways, um, I could see that maybe if it got, you know, quite a bit longer. Um, I mean, really, we're just right about there right now. Um, that if it was like a couple inches longer, I, I possibly could go like... Um, Back in the 80s leather uh, feathered look it's kind of back anyways and just get all this crap cut off I don't know what do you think I know that's the plan I don't know if I'm gonna hold off to it I'm done dyeing the hair this dark because it's too much every second or third week at most at best I get three weeks three good weeks um, I don't know. look for my car chat see you in a bit